In the golf swing, form follows function. One of the things that I see the most with amateurs and pros alike is the inability to externally rotate through the shoulder. The shoulder being able to move this way during the plane of the golf swing is what allows the butt end to stay pointed at the baseline or the target line, which makes it easier to deliver the club into the ball. Being as the case that a lot of people with the shoulder limitations who can only get to here, at the, fa at the top of the swing, because of the pain response, the club gets across the line at the top. So if you're across the line, it's not really a swing killer. What we're trying to do is if we get across the line here, if we drive our body towards the target line as long as we can, it'll allow the club to have time to drop down into the slot. We'll be able to get the face and the path very close to each other. It'll look like this. Cross the line, drive the body. And you'll find if you do that, you don't have to change your backswing, but you can still get into a better plane and to impact.